Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and good morning to you from a proper winter wonderland today. So an awful lot of snow has fallen overnight. And yes, we could go up the mountain here in Cortina and go skiing, or we could dig out the AMG GTR and go and have some snow fun. So hopefully today we're not gonna get stuck. First up, we'll have to get rid of the snow from the car. It's been awesome for some photos. Could have put it away in the garage, but just look at how cool this looks. I think it's amazing. Next to us, we've got Greg B's F12 TDF, his GTC 4 Lusso. We've been having amazing fun with those two as well. The more sensible car, the Maserati Levante. But today, I want to take my car out, have some fun with it. And I think with this white soft stuff with the winter tires, we should be okay so long as we don't get stuck in any ice. So let's start off getting the car unstuck, get all the snow off it, and then go out and have some fun here here in Winter Wonderland. The noises in the background, by the way, are the road bashers who have very kindly cleared the main paths for us. So it's just, if we can get over this first bit, we're gonna be hopefully good on the roads, firstly down into town, then up towards the hill. But seeing the car with snow on it, I just love how you have that little bit of snow on the AMG badge, the snow over the top of the Mercedes star at the front of the car. It is looking filthy though. It's gonna need a proper, proper clean when this is all done. But other than that, you know, it's the true Schneemobile, isn't it? It's the Schneemobile covered in Schnee, although we're actually in Italy, not in Germany, so that doesn't necessarily fly. But how often do you see a TDF under snow? And just look at the way the shapes on the bonnet work. That is so cool. Actually, the snow on the bottom of those side louvres on the Lusso as well. And the ice. Come around to the front. Look at the ice hanging down the bottom. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Anyway, it's time for me to uh, get a scraper out and start off getting rid of some of this stuff. But this is gonna need some time to uh, warm up and de-ice a little bit. <laughs> This is a very snowy day in a ski resort. The local roads are all like this with the packed snow on the ground. Although it has to be said, we have decent traction, driving completely fine. And I put it straight into individual mode because comfort has so much traction control that it almost, you want to be able to use a little bit more. I mean, if I put my foot down in comfort mode, we go nowhere and we slide a little bit, but the revs are completely throttled. If we go into individual, we get traction into ESC dynamic mode. Um, we'll head down this way and that will give a little bit of slip, but right now, so long as we avoid these hidden curbs, that's one of the problems. You can't see the curbs at the side of the road, so that can be potentially dangerous. Gotta watch out for that. But in this mode, there will be a little bit of slip if I put my foot down, but not too much to cause us any trouble. So I'm just gonna watch out for curbs as we go here, because obviously I've still got pretty big wheels on this car. Now if I put my foot down though, yeah, even in sport, we've got a whole lot of slipping and sliding going on. The traction light is flashing like crazy. But let's go find ourselves a mountain road up a little bit more and see what we can find. This ground is quite deceiving. I mean, it might look like tarmac on the face of it to you guys on the video, but if I just stab the throttle, you will very quickly see that the rear is happy to slide around. And this is with traction on, effectively. I mean, it's literally, like here we go around a corner, give it a stab and the back is out. <laughs> Still sliding. Oh, I love this car, it's so much fun. Now that we're out of the town and we're on a much smaller road heading up towards the ski hill, so there are a number of areas around here where the ski lifts have bases and obviously there are car parks. We're on a steeper road with, um, should we say, a more sketchy surface. If you have a look in front, it heads up through the trees, which looks really cool. Um, I've still got the traction in sport. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice seems to be going, but we go around a corner here. Just have a look at the steering wheel as this happens. You give it a little stab, and then the back <laughs> is out. But traction now, you can feel it, it's still really limited and holding us in and not letting us go. Oh, under the, the snow gust there. But when we're driving normally, it's actually amazing how much grip you have. You know, you can put your foot down like this and actually accelerate. Yes, traction is intervening, but it's not too dramatic. Then you come to this button here, press and hold this, and it engages the drift mode toggle, as I like to call it, but really the nine stage traction control. Now, if we start a little bit more to the right, back towards how the sport mode setting will be, I can already feel that the car is sliding more than it was before on this road, and we'll dial it up a little bit more later on, but as we go around the corner, foot down, still decent grip to be honest, decent ability to drive up what is a really steep hill in front of us. This is quite intriguing every time. Oh, look at that, <clears throat> in the middle of the road. Had the snow falling off the trees and the deer running across. Oh, there's another one. They always come in twos. They always come in twos. Every time, you've got to watch out. There was another one on my right-hand side there. Um, every time you see one deer on the road, oh, look at that, proper snow. You always expect there to be another one lurking. 
So, back to the road. Around the corner we go. Oh, look at this, just, just the surfaces we're driving on here are ridiculous. Sorry you're not getting too much engine sound, but obviously I'm gonna take this slowly in case cars come the other way, <laughs> which would be a dramatic problem. However, foot down, bit of slip angle. <laughs> you can see that flashing away like crazy when the traction engages. That's to let us know that it's uh, saving me, shall we say. It's quite fun actually to see that coming on and off. And there we have the ski lift. So if you're on the ski lift, you can now see the beast of the black hell, a black AMG GTR sliding up the mountain. Look, literally skiers right alongside the road here. You can see out the door, door window. Um, and that's where we were yesterday. And there we have the complete mountain up in front of us. This is awesome and so funny to be here with this car in the ski car park. And uh, yeah, I, I, genuinely, it's too easy. You know, like there's, there's too much grip. You kind of want there to be less. And I've turned the traction actually up uh, two clicks, as you can see. If it was dry, you could go even more clicks. But in here, we're sliding at such low speeds that I'm not taking any chances. We're just going to go up to a higher car park though. Um, it's super narrow. And then, oh, there's some bumps in the road. We don't want to do that. And there's people walking up the road as well. Let's hope nobody's coming down right now. They are literally like, what are you doing? <laughs> It's like a non-stop slide. Oh, this is a steep corner. This could be a problem, potentially. Take it gently, keep the grip, keep the grip, keep the grip. We've got it, we're away, we're going up. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. And we're going a straight line with the steering wheel pointing to the left. <laughs> ah, what's going on? Okay, this is, this is getting a little bit sticky here. Hmm, this has not gone to plan, but I'm with my friend Giorgio today. Hi guys. Who definitely told me this was a bad idea to turn around here. Um, sorry for not listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> but it got really slippy right here. I had basically the car coming backwards, got stuck there. Some guys stopped to help us get unbeached, but basically we need a rope. So we've called another friend, Mada, who is coming. to arrive with an Audi A4 and the rope. Yeah, the rope. The rope is what we need. Then we'll get the car out and all will be well. Change of plan. Look who's coming to save the day. It is the green Panzer 6x6. That's going to get us out. No problems, I think. Um, the panda here was going to attempt to help. <laughs> this just got very funny. This is what you call a car rescue on steroids. That is the ultimate get you out of anything machine. We've got the rope hooked up to the GTR and we've worked out how we're gonna try this. So I'm gonna get in the car and see if we can manage. And there's even a drone flying up there as well, just for extra effect. Okay then, it's time. I'm a little bit apprehensive, but let's see what happens. Let's keep it an individual, go into drive. Fingers crossed, wish me luck. We're on the move in super slow motion. I've still got absolutely no grip, but I'm being pulled. I've got full wheel lock. Are we out? Are we out? Oh, we're going very sideways here. We're out and we're done. We're safe. We're alive. We're back on the road. Small little distraction from the intended snow fun plan for the day. So let's disconnect all of this and then we will be able to proceed. It's a big thanks to the guys with the Green Panzer for rescuing me there. We are now out on our own four wheels again. It's very narrow here to get past the car. The Panda probably could have saved us. The Audi never showed up, although Mada came in the Green Panzer. And we're back on the road, so away we go again. What an adventure. Here we have a bit of a car park, but I'm not entirely sure if we can actually drive into that. That would have been fun, but I don't think it's gonna work just because of the snow at the edge of it. They can though. <laughs> Look at that thing, it's ridiculous. These guys are in. I'm just gonna go for this. There's a lot of snow, but let's see if we can get into this car park. There we go, we're in. <laughs> this is the most slow motion of slow motion donuts I've ever done. <laughs> we are not really moving now. <laughs> and again. It might have worked, but we're at the edge of the car park and I don't want to risk going off the edge. So we're going to do a panda tow to see if a panda can pull an AMG GTR on snow and ice. And this is really slippery. Yes, there's tarmac underneath, but honestly, it's basically ice underneath this. So we're going to use the ropes and then pull 
the GTR with the Panda and see what happens. That genuinely worked. That's a little panda 4x4 and it just pulled the GTR up the hill. That's amazing! <laughs> I can't even walk! Look at the mighty panda go! Those four wheel drifts in the deep snow. What a beast! It's time now that we're on the flat to not get stuck. So handbrake off, into gear, seatbelt of course, always. We're on the flatter part of this. Traction is currently in sport. Do I have some grip to get started? Yes. Okay, slowly. This is like, as soon as you get a bit of hill, it all goes wrong. I don't think I'm gonna be able to spin around. It's just too slippy here, because it's literally ice underneath the snow. I can try, but there we go. Literally the most super of slow motion. <laughs> What we've learned here is that a Panda 4x4 can do anything. And in the right situation, that's the kind of car you want. But when we, come, when we came out with this car, obviously I knew that if we got stuck, Green Panzer was gonna be there to help us out to save us. So thanks Greg and Madder for jumping in the car and coming up to pull the GTR out. But driving on this right now, you know, this, this cruddy but not quite icy stuff is not a problem at all, so long as you're gentle and slow. And obviously if I stand the brakes, ABS does its thing, but we do come to a stop, it, do, it, it does work the car can be driven. The only problem we have here is that there's been some really odd weather conditions, which means that basically there's this layer of ice that's frozen overnight. It's been 10 degrees in the day, melts everything, negative overnight, freezes everything, and then fresh snowfall on top of that, which hides the ice. So you can't see which bits of the road are icy and which bits of the road are just snow. Driving here, completely fine. I mean, I'm in sport traction, but we're not slipping, we're not sliding, nothing dramatic really to report on what's happening, just going down the hill. Um, you know, doing what we do, so to speak. It's just fun getting these occasional little slides for all of the other vehicles. Some we've seen coming up with chains on, some are coming up with just snow tires, some have winter and summer tires, which we see them getting stuck, so that's not working. Um, lots of 4x4s, Range Rovers, Evokes, that kind of thing, um, which are vastly more sensible than this, in these conditions. But it's a very, very good looking valley, just coming down and seeing in front of us. So I turn the wipers on to clean the window a little bit. And again, coming towards a corner where there's no barriers, you definitely want to make sure you're braking well in advance. So what I've basically learned today is that this car is hilarious fun. It's been epic to, to, to go out and drive the cars and discover what is possible. I think that's half of it. You don't really know because most people don't push the boundaries and, and discover and I don't blame them because it could go really wrong. But we're in the right circumstances with the right group of people to learn and find out. And this, this corner is so cool. Oh, it didn't even slip there. That's kind of my point. Um, that traction is good, that that like S-bend is just epic. So back down the hill we go to head home for the time being and uh, park the car back up and stop being so foolish. I told a lie, I'm going back up the hill, it's just too much fun, I've got nowhere to go and this is basically epic. Also, the sun has started poking through so that means I can see a little bit more but just pinch it, slide it, opposite lock. It's so much better going uphill than down because obviously upwards you have gravity in your favour, you can come to a stop almost instantaneously if you need to, which is much, much better. You can just play with the car and experiment and learn what it does and where that, that edge is. Obviously at very slow speeds here to, to make sure that we're keeping safe and we don't risk damaging anything. It's actually amazing how much you can get away with without damaging things. But steep uphill, poke the back out that way, not actually that much go there, which basically is a sign of they're, they're gritting and cleaning the roads, but... <laughs> non-stop slide uphill. Oh my gosh, I love this car. For driving like this, this kind of environment, playing around, as well as being a car that I can like skis around in and travel with and be comfortable sat in and it's got a good sound system. It's like one car for literally everything. <laughs> Just the gentle balance of a slide around the corners here as we go past people walking down this narrow road, which is not necessarily what I would advise they do. <laughs> Woohoo! 
<laughs> this is mega back part star favorite car park or maybe least favorite car park some big bumps in the uh, in the road just there it's it's honestly it's just constant oops and bumps obviously snow is not good for tarmac nor is salt <laughs> oh true winter wonderland true 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 winter wonderland just every corner <laughs> And there we are back at the ski hill and this is where I'm actually going to take a break right now because we know it's in the next stretch that we got stuck earlier. Oh my goodness. Pure entertainment. So much fun. What an epic day. There we have it. One very, very dirty car now. Honestly, it's actually amazing how much of a deep clean this thing is going to need after all of this. The dirty, 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 salty, muddy road grime that has caked the entire thing. And I think it might even be worse around the other side. Although, last bit of snow on the wing. Yeah, that doesn't look very nice at all. Although you can see where it gets flicked up from the wheels. Oh my goodness. What a load of fun that has been. Snow fun in the GTR. Honestly, I think I've shot more videos now with this car on snow than I have actually on tarmac, although it's just the start. 8,000 kilometers on the clock, many, many more to come. Believe you me, this thing is going to do an awful lot of traveling, an awful lot of very cool stuff this year. I'm super excited about it, honestly. But today, just being here in a ski resort, Cortina in Italy, driving this car, even if we got stuck and needed Green Panzer that is over there and the Fiat uh, Panda to, to save us still good times so thank you very much guys for watching thanks to greg for rescuing me instagram link down below thanks also to Mada, giorgio and dega for being here as well awesome awesome fun day that's it though i'll catch up with you again very very soon cheers